what's up everyone and welcome to your 14th JavaScript tutorial and in this lesson we'll be looking at inheritance in JavaScript in the last tutorial we discussed about the prototypal model and how it worked in JavaScript but in this tutorial we'll be inheriting the one constructor prop uh, the one constructor properties methods and mm, properties into another constructor function let's modify this code a little bit we had area of square and area of rectangle let's make this code just perimeter perimeter of square and let's apply it to the side x as well then we do this dot side is x this dot perimeter and this function would return into side okay now we have this object down here which creates new area of square as I told you in the last tutorial this object is right now empty with just a prototype method linked to it which links this object to this constructor function with the prototype chain now what happens is if we do area of square dot prototype is equals to new perimeter of square and supply it with the side 10 now what's happening here is here down okay here we have area of square and here we have another constructor function perimeter of square now area of square has its own properties and methods like these and perimeter of square has its own properties and methods like this now as you know these both are linked to the prototypal chain carrying way above two objects the object and here as well it is linked to object with the prototype and same with this but now when we do area of square dot prototype is equal to new perimeter of square then this prototype chain links this object right here within this within this chain that means when we do area of square is equal to new perimeter of square then what it does it is it inherited all the methods and properties of this object into this chain that means if I request if I create any object down here and supposingly this object has this object calls a method which is not located in this chain this uh, constructor function neither in this object so what it will do is it will first jump to this and this construct constructor function would say I don't have this method then it would jump above the prototype chain and would find this object linked to this prototype chain and it would jump to this method instead of going above to the object it would jump to this method and then it will request if you have any method what we have requested down here and it would return that method to us and again it would come to the area of square and the object and it would use as required okay so now <laughs> let's try to run this practically we have attached this object to the prototype chain of area of square now we have created a new instance of this a new object square is equal to new area of square now if we do square dot area in console log let's see 
and then we will refresh this and what happens is we get 100 as logged and this is usual because 100 square is 100 uh, let's try to do square dot perimeter what happens now is we get the result 40 but how we didn't have any method called para perimeter in area of square now what's happening here is the inheritance we have inherited this me uh, method perimeter from this constructor function into this now what happens here is as I draw the diagram earlier the perimeter the, const uh, the function perimeter is requested by this object square square down here we requested the perimeter method this perimeter method looked up to this area of square it said no we don't have this method then this jumped to above the uh, prototype chain and found this linked it requested this whether do you have any perimeter of square uh, the perimeter method and yes sir, it said yes I do have and it returned the method and it's uh, what it used to be returned and this the values are then used by this object accordingly now what happens if we had a perimeter function right here in the area of square object let's say I create a function this dot perimeter and just simply returns one nothing much to do here and I guess I'm with semicolons right here okay so I have now created a function perimeter in the area of square as well now if I refresh this page and see what happens then you'll observe that we get one but why is it so this is because let's clear this out okay so this was this was area of square of square this was perimeter of square we created a new object of area of square which is just square and it called the method perimeter I hope that's understandable okay so and as usual these two are linked with each other because of this prototype and these two are linked at the prototype chain as well with different levels object then function I like that okay so now this method right here this constructor function has now got a property perimeter isn't it we just created it right now and this method which is whose methods and properties are inherited by this constructor function has also got a property a uh, method perimeter now when this when this square requests the perimeter method to this then it says yes I do have this method and it returns this method to the square object and the execution stops here because there's no need to go to this method and then request this method again the execution stops here that means the program has found the perimeter method and it doesn't look up on the chain to find it again that means the chain is something like the area of the first of all it would look within itself if the method is found for instance if we create like I create square dot perimeter 
is equal to function return to and then I call this method and we refresh this page as you can see it outputs 2 now what's happening here is this square function looks within itself if it as a parameter method and if it finds the one then it stops the execution right here it doesn't go to above the chain and then this doesn't go to above itself uh, like that so once the method is found the execution stops this is about inheritance so what happens here is a quick overview or brief what we have learned we created a we created a new object of parameter of square and linked all its methods and properties to the prototype chain of area of square right here and then we initialized or created an instance of this constructor function or an object of this constructor function with prototype already attached by the JavaScript this method then we created a square dot perimeter which overwritten overrode the method of the area of square constructor class and the perimeter of square constructor class and then we called it so it returned 2 to us if we remove this then this would look up the chain unless it finds the perimeter method and if we remove this as well then it would look further up in the chain and would return this method right here and if we remove this as well we'll obviously get an error because there's no inbuilt perimeter method in the object chain as you can see so this tutorial was brief about introduction to inheritance I hope that you are getting understand you are actually trying to understand what's happening in JavaScript and how the inheritance model is working right here so if you don't um, understand anything or have questions why this happened and why we did not write this code and we wrote in this instead of that like that you are free to leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe and keep watching these videos and I, I promise you that you will have a strong command in JavaScript in the advanced section thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe